Hey, I heard you coming, so I made us all coffee. Oh, thanks. And I got us breakfast. Big change from yesterday. So what's brought this on? Well, I thought there was tension about the christening, but now we've all had a chance to sleep on it. I'm hoping that we can sort it. Well, it's all sorted. We'll wait until Millie's well enough to come. No, Kim, that's just what you want. The arrangements have all been made, so everyone else would find it much more convenient if it just went ahead as planned. And by everyone else, I take it you mean your family? Liv, Vinnie and Arthur have all said yes to being godparents, and they're ready to go. That means I'll be the only take there. Yeah, Millie's only got some children's buggy. It's not like we want to postpone it for a couple of years, just for a week or two at most. Yes, but this christening is about Thomas, not Millie. And I'm his mother, so I'll do it how I want. Yeah, and I'm his grandmother. And I want both my grandchildren there. Considering you've run everything else around your family and I'm still paying, I think you can give me that. Sorry if I'm a bit early for cleaning. Is this a bad time? Yes. Kim is being totally unreasonable. Because I want a hand in my grandson's christening. No, because you want to do it your way, as usual. Now you've ruined his christening gown. You did that on purpose. No, it was an accident, but I don't want him in that stupid thing anyway. <gasps> Seeing what she's like, totally unreasonable. I do think it was genuinely an accident, Kim. You'll get splinters on your backside if you sit on the fence too long. Lydia, what do you think? I'll try and fix that christening gown. Hey. Something wrong? You're busy. Maybe we can talk later. I'm just trying to salvage this christening gown. What are the chances? Well, I don't want to get Kim's hopes up, but I'll try my best. And we can talk now. Women can multitask. <laughs> Cleaning and talking is one of my many talents. I'm worried about Kim. Yeah, me too. I know Gabby thinks she's being unreasonable, but I don't think she realises how much Kim were looking forward to seeing Millie again. Feels like they're both beyond listening to reason. I was with Kim at the memorial and Charles never even warned her that Hazel was coming, let alone that she was going to take Millie away from her. Mm, that must have been a shock. It certainly was. It, it was like... It was like Millie was being legally kidnapped. And she didn't know that Andrea had signed the papers for Hazel before she died. And one minute she's living here and the next minute she's gone. Well, it certainly could have been handled better. You're not wrong. Kim hasn't seen her granddaughter since. I mean, that's why she was so surprised that Hazel said that Millie could come to the christening. Now she doesn't believe that she'll ever let her visit again. I know she won't. You saw what Hazel was like at the memorial. Keeping my granddaughter away from me was her way of punishing me for what happened to Andrea. Well, why don't you let us explain that to Gabby? And that that's the reason you want to postpone? <laughs> After she ruined our christening gown. It's not worth saying anything to her. We just want to try and help settle things down, that's all. This isn't all down to Gabby. If Hazel won't let Millie come to a family occasion like this, then I'm worried she'll never let me see her. Oh, I need to find out what's really going on. Maybe you're making a mistake with Gabby, Kim. I don't think I asked for your opinion. Well, you're getting it anyway. I just want to stop you from going down a road where the person you end up hurting is yourself. I'm sure you and Will think you know best. But this is my problem. It's down to me to deal with it. You find it hard to trust people, don't you? <laughs> What's that got to do with it? Well, most of us have got mates we can talk our troubles through with. You seem to think you need to pay for friends when you need them. You have employees you're fond of, like me and Will. I don't employ Will. We're engaged. And he's got his own business now. Which you bought into for me. I mean, do you think that being grateful means that we can't say stuff you don't want to hear? I thought we got over that with Paddy. OK. Maybe I do have trust issues, but that's down to experience. Every time I care about someone, I end up losing them. If you trust people, you get hurt. And if you don't, you get lonely. I've really enjoyed seeing you happy. Don't go chucking it away now. I'm not giving up on Millie. Well, why don't you explain that to Gabby? Look, see if the two of you can find a way through this. <laughs> Even if I did try, she wouldn't listen. Not for me and Will. Try again.
Ford's looking for you. Yeah, we need to talk. That's that, then. How's it going? How do you think? You told us how stubborn we are. At least that's something we all agree on. I've uh, managed to fix the christening gown. Not that it'll be needed now. Yes, it will. We've agreed Thomas can wear that tomorrow if it's fixed. You're a genius, Lydia. Looks as good as new. So, is it full steam ahead with the christening? Yeah, that's what me and Kim have agreed, if that's OK with you too. That's what we've been trying to persuade you to do all day. We ought to go over any last-minute arrangements. Well, can you do that with Lydia? I've got something else I need to arrange. Oh, just tell me. I'll make it happen. Uh, no, can't do that, I'm afraid. Hoping it'll be a surprise. <laughs>